Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Today. I've got some awesome stuff for you today. But before we begin, I want you to do a couple of things. Hit subscribe, turn on alerts, check out my Instagram at sketchaday.com and check out the website sketchaday.com because if you go there, you'll see a notice for a newsletter. I want you to subscribe to that newsletter because you get something awesome. You get a free how to sketch guide. Well, it's even better than that. It's a collection of things, insights that I've learned through my career that I'm sharing with you, including the materials I use, the products, and there's a how to sketch render a chair guide in that free downloadable as well. <laughs> Had a brain fart. Um, but yes, go there, download it, check it out. Today I'm going to explain something to you that is super important to making your sketches pop, making them awesome, making them feel right. And that is, we're going to talk about ellipses and what the degree of an ellipse is. So I have my handy styrofoam cup here. We're going to use that to explain things. So let's get started. Now, an ellipse essentially is a circle like the circle you see here in perspective. So as I, you can imagine the camera is your eyes, right? And through your eyes, uh, going out of your head, either side to infinity, there's an imaginary line. That's your eye level. So you'll hear me talk about that eye level. Depending on where my eye level is, my relationship to this circle is changing. Okay. So I'm going to turn to the side here. When I look at this cup straight on, I can't see inside the cup. I just see a straight line, much like the camera sees a straight line. Okay. So camera eye level. As I change my relationship to the cup, I now create an angle. So we're going to imagine a line that's shooting out the side of my head like that, all the way out. Now, as I lower the cup, this line remains, but now I can see the top of the cup. Okay. And the top of the cup looks like an ellipse. There it is for the camera. Okay, as I lower this, you'll see that it's no longer a straight line. Okay, and the lower you go, the more open it gets. Or as you rotate the object, you can see more and more of the inside. So essentially the degree of an ellipse can be defined as the relationship between my eye level and the position of the circle in three-dimensional space. Okay, so that's one way to think of it. The other way, again, is considering the angle or relationship of this circle to your eye level and your sight line as you're looking at an object. So I can either change the rotation of that object, okay, or I can change the position of that object. I guess they're both the position. One's just rotation, one's the Z position, if you will, of this object. So as I rotate, I'm seeing less and less and less and less. Now a straight line, can't see anything as I rotate it toward me, that ellipse opens up. So what does this mean for drawing? Well, if I were drawing, I wanted to show the degree of an ellipse in our perspective system here. Let's say we have two points like so. Okay, this is my horizon line or eye level. Okay, so I'm going to say that my horizon line is going right through my eyes like so. And so relative to where my eyes are, I can draw a series of boxes or squares. So something like that. Let's do that one. And then let's do one like so. We'll just continue on the same line here just to keep things nice and simple something like that. And then we'll go way down here. Okay. And I'm just going to guesstimate or estimate what this box might look like. Okay. So we've got something of a box, right? Or three planes rather moving through three dimensional space. Now, if I want to draw a square, something like that in two dimensions. So now we're in a 2D view, a little sidebar here. Let's say I want to draw a circle in this box and I want the circle to touch these four sides. So I'm going to use my method here of ghosting and then commit and draw a circle. 
Now the circle is touching these four points. I can also divide the circle into eight quadrants. And you'll notice that the diagonals of the circle, or the diagonals of the square rather, as I've divided it into eight segments. So diagonally, Wakanda forever. Diagonally and vertically and horizontally, I can now have eight parts of the circle. And if I observe the relationship, okay, if I were to take a look at this distance, it's roughly a third. It's not exactly a third, roughly a third. We're just estimating here. A third of the way in, okay, on these lines. Well, what does that have to do in perspective? I can do the same thing, okay? Divide diagonally and then divide like so. And I know my circle in perspective, which is an ellipse, is going to touch these four sides. I also know that roughly a third of the way in, roughly, I'm going to have intersection points on those diagonals. So. I can now trace and draw an ellipse like so. Okay, now what I want you to pay attention to is not necessarily just the construction of that ellipse, but more so how open this ellipse is. So how open this is, right? As we move away from this horizon line. So there's a horizon line. So far away equals more open, okay? Now, if we move up and we were to do the same thing, we might end up with an ellipse like this. Okay, so less far, less far equals, uh, let's say tighter or smaller. Okay, just like that. Now, what about above? Above our eye level, if I were looking up and the lips, same thing, okay? It's the relationship of how far you are or how far this ellipse is, this plane, from the horizon line, okay? So you can kind of see as I move up and if we had something in between here, it might look something like this and so forth. And if we had something a little further away, it might open up and look something more like that. So you can kind of see this is why I warm up the way I do. Now, if I were to take this and flip it vertically like so, the same thing would be true in that if I have a coffee cup, a styrofoam cup, and I'm looking at it dead on like this, as I move to the side, you can see the inside of that coffee cup, okay? Or if you look at the bottom here, now you can see the bottom. So that ellipse opens up relative to your position, your point of view in this three-dimensional space. And that is what is called the degree of an ellipse. So this relationship is a certain degree, that's theta, right? So that degree, that relationship is gonna be descriptive of how open or how closed that ellipse is. Hopefully that was beneficial to you. Uh, if you've ever heard that term before, the degree of an ellipse, it kind of just clicked for me one day and I wanted to share that with you and explain it to you in a way that Hopefully you can understand, but better yet, hopefully you can share with someone. So if you've learned something today, definitely subscribe, turn on those alerts, but also if you know someone who's struggling with this, be sure to share that with them. Um, be like, hey, I'm gonna sit with you and explain the degree of an ellipse and hopefully passing it on, they'll be able to pass it on to someone else as well. I'm a big believer in giving back. So please do that if you have the opportunity to share. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing, for turning on those alerts. You can also find me on Instagram at sketchaday.com. Subscribe for that newsletter. And again, I hope that you got something out of this. And thank you so much for watching and for taking the time to make it this far. We'll see you next time right here on Sketchaday.